25 minutes after 8 o'clock, there are ways that uh, you can track your children's online activity even when they're going mobile. Technology expert Shama Hyder is back with some of the best apps and some common sense advice. First, let's start with a, a subscription service. It is called TeenSafe. It's not cheap, but it looks like it does an awful lot. Very powerful application. That's right, Tim. And so just sort of a precursor before we jump into these apps, right, is knowing that there's apps out there that do let you monitor your teen. It's still smart to be able to have conversations right. with your teenager, making sure that they understand how to use technology. So apps like this don't really become a crutch, but you're actually teaching them good habits. So that being said, okay. right, we're all about giving people choices. Right. So the first app is called Teen Safe. Mm -hmm. It's $15 a month but it let you look at their texts, their calls, their social media activity, even deleted messages, remote tracking. Right. So this is for helicopter parent right. 101. This is like back in the days when everything was done on a desktop in the living room or at the house somewhere. It was called, kids called it POS, parent over the shoulder. Right, But yes. this is electronic. Parent, parent in your over. phone. Right. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, but very effective and seems to work well? It does. It does work well. And again, you know, we really want to make sure that you're having these conversations with exactly. your kids. If you're using these tools, because as we both know, kids are smart. And if you go one route, they'll go the other. Right. And, you know, <laughs> so don't try to sneak it on there and not tell them. Just be upfront and say, I'm putting this on your phone. This is why if we have a problem, we'll talk. If we don't have a problem, we won't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's okay. there's that. There's uh, two more apps too. Right, I love the, I love this next one. <laughs> Ignore no more app, which I think is fantastic. Right. This could work for adult children too, depending on sure. if you could pull it off. But essentially, if kids are not picking up your phone, mm -hmm. right, you can lock their phone and the only way for them to unlock it is to call you, uh -huh. get the new password. And then voila, it'll unlock itself. It works again because sometimes kids get a little pestered by the parents. They can always say, well, I was driving at the time, so I didn't answer your calls. Unless you're following them, then you know exactly yeah, where they exactly, are. So exactly, there's that. Right. <laughs> uh, there's another one because sometimes we all lose track of time. And, and the phone can be sitting there, the phone or the tablet can be sitting there, and it's like a magnet for our attention. Uh, distracting us from doing other things, including interacting with fellow human beings in the family. Yes, there's that. So this is called Dinner Time, and it's a free app. So the other one we looked at was about $2, right, for the mm -hmm. Android version. This is a free app, and what it does is it allows you to block the phone, essentially, for given periods of time. Mm -hmm. So you can say Dinner Time, one hour, you can't touch the phone, right? right? The, the timer's going off on it, and you, you have to sit there and engage. Right. But I will tell you, there's, there's something better than the Dinner Time app. And it's just not bringing phones to maybe the dinner table. And so often it's because parents have their phones that right. teens want their phones and, at the and table. We, so. Right, and we've all been in a restaurant and see mom and dad and all the kids staring at their smartphones and nobody's having a conversation. You know, put it in the purse, leave it somewhere, turn it off, whatever. Exactly. Nobody's going to die so if they don't have Just set a their, good example yeah. at the table. All right, we have uh, links to uh, all of these and a link to uh, your website as well. If you go to Fox4 News. Dot com. As always, thank you. Always a pleasure, Tim. Uh,